first episode of a brand new series of cast guides, we'll take a look at the stars who made up the main cast of the smash hit 70s sitcom, Bless This House. Born Solomon Joel Cohen in South Africa in 1913, the man we would come to know and love as Sid James first arrived in England on Christmas Day 1946. Just a short time later he had appeared in his first film, Black Memory, and he soon became one of the busiest film character actors in the country, making appearances in films such as The Lavender Hill Mob, Quatermass 2 and Hell Drivers. During the 50s Sid became a household name through his role in both the radio and TV versions of Hancock's Half Hour. In 1960 his fame reached even greater heights as he was cast in the lead role in the fourth Carry On film, Carry On Constable. Over the next 14 years Sid would star in a total of 19 Carry On films and become one of the most famous comedy stars in the country. In terms of viewers, Bless This House was the most successful of Sid's TV sitcoms and it was one of his personal favourite roles. Just a few days after the final episode of the sixth series of Bless This House was broadcast in April 1976, Sid James died from a heart attack while performing on stage at the Sunderland Empire Theatre. He was 62 years old. The part of Jean Abbott in Bless This House was the first time Diana Coupland had played a major role in a television sitcom. Born in Leeds in 1928, Diana Coupland was an accomplished singer who spent many years performing in nightclubs, hotels and ballrooms. In the first James Bond film Doctor No in 1962, Diana provided the singing voice for Ursula Andress as her character Honey Rider sang Underneath the Mango Tree. After making a number of one-off appearances in a variety of TV series throughout the 60s, Diana landed her first regular starring role in 1971 with Bless This House. In 1981, she became a regular in the cult BBC soap Triangle, and in 2000 she joined the cast of EastEnders for a six-week run as Maureen Carter. Diana Coupland died in November 2006 at the age of 78. Although he was best known for his role as Mike Abbott in Bless This House, Robin Stewart had a busy career outside of the series. He began as a child actor in the 50s, working with the likes of Richard Burton and Julie Andrews on stage at the age of just 13. Robin appeared in a number of films during the 60s and 70s, including Horror House in 1969, Cromwell in 1970 and, perhaps most famously, the 1974 Hammer film the Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires, in which he played Leyland Van Helsing, grandson of Professor Van Helsing, played by Peter Cushing. After Bless This House came to an end, Robin moved first to New Zealand and then Australia, where he enjoyed a career resurgence playing villainous characters in soap operas The Young Doctors and Sons and Daughters. Sadly, Robin was dogged by ill health during his later years, suffering from emphysema. He died in November 2015 at the age of 69. Like her co-star and friend Robin Stewart, Sally Jason will always be remembered for her time in Bless This House, playing Sid's teenage daughter Sally. Along with her elder sister Judy, Sally Jason studied at the Corona Stage Academy and appeared in a number of small uncredited roles in various TV series and films, including a fleeting appearance as a young girl in Carry On Regardless in 1961. In 1969, Sally starred opposite comedy legend Norman Wisdom in What's Good for the Goose. She also appeared alongside Vincent Price and Christopher Lee in the 1969 horror of the Oblong Box 
and Vincent Price again in the following year's Cry of the Banshee. In 1972, Sally became a member of the Carry On team, appearing once more with her great friend Sid James in that year's Carry On Abroad and Carry On Girls the following year. Sally stepped away from the acting profession after Bless This House ended in 1976 in order to start a family. As of December 2022, Sally is 72 years old. One of the most underrated comedy actresses of the 1970s, Patsy Rowlands never really enjoyed a starring role, but instead made a superb career for herself as a character actress. Born in London in 1931, Patsy Rowland spent most of her early career in the theatre, appearing in a variety of stage productions. In 1969 she landed a supporting role in the film Carry On Again Doctor, and soon after became an established member of the Carry On team. From 1969 till 1975, Patsy appeared in a total of nine Carry On films, including Carry On At Your Convenience and Carry On Girls. Her role as next-door neighbour Betty in Bless This House came at the recommendation of her Carry On co-star and friend Sid James. In 1983, Patsy landed another regular comedy role in the ITV sitcom Hallelujah, alongside Thora Heard. Later in her career, she returned to the theatre and made her final screen appearance in the 2001 drama series The Cazalettes. Patsy Rowlands died in 2005 at the age of 74. Born in Birmingham in 1944, Anthony Jackson was one of those familiar TV faces that you could never quite put a name to. In addition to his most famous role as Sid's best friend and next door neighbour Trevor in Bless This House, Anthony is perhaps best remembered as Fred Mumford in 24 episodes of children's TV classic Rent-A-Ghost. A much sought after character actor, Anthony Jackson made guest appearances in a huge amount of popular television shows over the years including Only Fools and Horses, Mind Your Language, Boone and The Detectives. His final screen appearance came in a 2006 episode of Chucklevision. Anthony Jackson died in 2006 at the age of 62. If you enjoyed this guide to the stars that bless this house, then why not check out one of the other classic comedy cast guides available on the channel. As always, thanks for watching, and remember, nostalgia is what it used to be.